Hey guys, what's up? It's Shanice. Welcome back to my channel. So it is the end of the night. I'm super, super tired right now, but I did want to show you guys my nighttime routine of like what I do to my hair when I have like a twist out or a braid out, like how I maintain it. So right now this is a one day old twist out, but I'm here in Austin, Texas. So it's super, super humid and thus the frizz. And this twist out was kind of frizzy to begin with. So I'm just going to show you guys what I do to maintain my twist outs. And I'm also going to show you guys how I prevent breakage and all of that. Because all of that has to do with, you know, maintaining your hair. And making sure that you're doing what you've got to do before you go to sleep. Because once you get on that bed and you go to sleep and you don't do what you're supposed to do. Like lay on the satin pillowcase, tie your hair up, moisturize your hair. That's when breakage and dryness and all of that occurs so you gotta handle that before you go to bed so i'm gonna kind of work with the same part that i had before because i do have this little you know side part going on so what i'm gonna do is work with this section right here and i'm gonna split this into three pieces that's what i'm gonna do so i'm gonna work with this section right here and even though i did smaller twists to begin with um, I'm gonna do chunkier twists at night because it's, I'm tired and I just want to get it over and done with and I feel like my hair comes out better when my twists and my braid outs are chunkier. That's just my personal opinion. So you want to make sure that you're using the same products that you use to, you know, start your twist though because that way you will avoid like flakes and dryness and all of that and it will just make sure that your twist out is consistent. So what i'm going to be using is the leave-in conditioner by cream of nature and i'm also going to be using their twist out right here as well so i'm just going to lightly spritz my hair not too much because i want it to dry tomorrow just make sure that it's nice and you know coated with water not too much and then i'm going to apply a little bit of the leave-in conditioner And then I'm gonna apply a little bit of the twist out cream. This stuff is super thick, so I'm only gonna apply a little bit of it. And then if I need to, of course, I'll add on, which is what I usually do. Once all the products are applied, this is your chance to decide if you want to detangle or not. And for me, how I'm feeling right now, I don't really want to detangle. I don't really want to lose the curl pattern. So I'm just going to do a nice chunky twist. The only time I will detangle is when I get to the end because I feel like that is like super important and that's when your, you know, your hair should be like really defined and I find that if I don't detangle the ends of my hair, my hair will just come like super frizzy. So I'm going to detangle the ends. And as I twist down, if I feel my hair is a little bit dry, I will add more product. And then just continue to twist. Once I have like about two inches left over, this is where I will take my perm rod and I'll just roll it up. So this is the section I'm working with. Like I said, I'm doing like large to medium size section just because I'm really lazy. If I wasn't lazy, then I would do smaller sections, but Ain't nobody got time for that. So, I'm gonna spritz my hair with a little bit of water. Apply some of the leave-in conditioner. And then applying some of the twisting cream. And at the same time, I am kind of like raking my fingers through it just to get a little bit of the knots out.
take a perm rod and we are going to rod it up. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of oil right here. This is the Curl Blueberry Bliss Hair Growth Oil. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of that in my hands and I'm just gonna put it all over my hair. So I just like press it in. So yeah, this is my hair complete. As you can see, I did three chunky twists on this side and then four chunky twists on this side. And the chunkier you do your twist, it's not gonna be as defined if you do small twists, just saying, but I kind of like the chunky look. It just gives me like really nice waves. So that's what we're gonna go for today, especially cause I'm hella lazy. This is a lazy nighttime routine for my hair, okay? I'm just gonna take my scarf. I did get this scarf from the beauty supply store. I get so many questions about where I get my scarves from. I always get all of my scarves from the beauty supply store. They have so much. So I'm just gonna put this over my head. And this is like a really large one. So it's gonna cover the twist. When I sleep at night, you'll see. Let me just put this on. So I don't know if you guys can see how this part is extremely long. So it kind of wraps around the twist and my twist stay inside. So um, yeah, it's not going to get fuzzy or anything while I sleep. So it's literally wrapped inside here like a cocoon. So that's why I love like long and huge scarves like this. It really, really, you know, makes a difference. So yeah, I'm just going to sleep on this overnight. And I'm going to show you guys my results tomorrow. Show you guys how I maintain my twist outs. Hey guys, what's up? So it is the next day and I'm about to take down my hair, do my makeup and everything like that. Um, so yeah, this is how my hair is looking. As you can see, it's still in um, the twist and it does have the little perm rods at the end just to make sure that it doesn't unravel at nighttime. Because if I was to do chunky twists like this, they are bound to unravel um, at nighttime. So yeah, we gotta we had to keep this in. So I'm just gonna take down the rods. So I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's like super like spirally at the bottom. And that's what I was looking for. So yeah, on to taking down the twist. Feels good. Oh, they look good. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. So pretty much I just turn the twist the opposite direction that I twisted it, and then I pull from the roots, and that won't disturb the curl pattern that much. And then, yeah, it just looks like that. So this is how my hair looks after I took down all the twists. As you can see, my hair looks super defined. There's not a lot of frizz going on, but it's super flat. I have to separate it or like this is not gonna work. So wherever my hair just wants to naturally separate, that's what I'm gonna do. As you can see, like that part just fell off on its own. And then wherever it wants to separate, I'm just going to like pull it apart. Just like that. I like big hair, I don't know about you guys, but I like super big hair, so I'm gonna take my fingers and just raise my roots. So I gotta get my edges. I was already using Prima Nature products and I already been using this on my edges, so I'm gonna use their edge control from their Pure Honey line and get my edges. All right guys, so these are the final results and I absolutely love how it came out. It looks super, super bomb. There's not a lot of frizz going on. I love the definition and it's super, super moisturized. So A1, I feel like it looks better than my first day here to be honest, cause I do have less frizz and I feel like the curls are just a lot more defined. So yeah, this is my hair. I'm loving this. And this is the back right here. So you guys can see that. So yeah, I hope this video was helpful. I just wanted to let you guys see how I manage and refresh my twist styles. 
this is pretty much what I do every single time just to you know manage it make sure that it's nice and moisturized so my hair doesn't break off and all of that so if you guys like this video definitely give me a big thumbs up and I'll see you guys all in the next one deuces